when I first heard the idea of the book, I had no idea that I would end up being involved in writing uh, the, uh, the poetry to go along with the, with, the, with, the, with the story. When I first heard the idea of the book, I had no idea that I would end up being involved in its uh, creation and be part of the uh, poetry in the book. Doing poetry mostly for myself, uh, used to writing like very short poems, short stanzas, based on things that I've experienced, things I've seen, things I've felt. Now, for someone to come in and be like, uh, can you do something for me? It was taking me quite some distance outside of my comfort zone because now I had to internalize the story, to read the story, read the book again, internalize it and find words which would best um, encompass each of the aspects of the story. I understood that it had four uh, phases, like this life cycle of, of, of a butterfly. Uh, the metamorphosis for well, the life cycle of a butterfly follows like our four stages. I'm going to pretend like I know all of the stages off the top of my head. You have the egg, the caterpillar, and the something. Then finally you have your butterfly fly through and your life cycle is complete. It goes around to lay more eggs and things like that. So when I was starting, well, I was stuck there thinking like where to begin. And you know the best advice about anything is you start at the beginning. So where's the beginning? The beginning is at the egg. And the beginning was the egg. And that just became the first sentence and you started rolling from there. And the beginning was the egg. I was going for that poetry for non-poets. You don't have to be a poet to appreciate these simple lines of word. You, they're so visual, you can see what's going on. It's like another story. That's what poetry is. It's just a rhythmic storytelling. And for the next part, I just wanted to grab your attention. Chrysalis is when a caterpillar goes to sleep and the magic happens. And for the last part, I wanted to capture the final phase where the worm goes to bed a caterpillar and then wakes up a butterfly. And the thing about transitioning into your butterfly stage is it is a cycle again. It's not just one definitively becomes a, a butterfly. It goes over and over and over again. So that's what I wanted to discontinue. You wake up here, but it's a cycle. So we're still going to go back to the egg through the process until we wake up again. Butterfly.